What's going on guys? I am Ace and we are here playing Mortal Kombat X for the very first time. I just loaded the disc in, did the update, fantastic, all good. And you're taken to this screen, well technically not this screen, the first screen was just to choose the brightness of your screen. The second screen again was just to choose whether you want to have the sound come from your TV or your stereo surround headset, or your headset, you've got whatever. And this is the third screen you come to. And it shows you a little tiny video, and this guy talking about there's a global war going on between factions, and you join five factions. Uh, you join one of those five, and it's like a global war going on. So basically anything you do in single player, multiplayer, challenges, whatever, you accumulate points towards your faction and it's just a global war going on between each faction it sounds really cool so anything you do in game you're adding points to uh, to, your, to your team basically and you're fighting these little teams all around the world so this is pretty cool and they did say in one stream the uh, netherrealm studios the developers did say that they can like they can release challenges per day or they can update the challenges per hour if they want to. So any challenge that comes across a community challenge will just you know constantly update, constantly change, and that's a that's an amazing thing. So yeah, we've got Lu Kin. I saw if, if I apologise if I can't say the some of these names. Lin Ku is that Lin Ku? I believe the Lin Ku run by Sub Zero himself. Then we've got Black Dragon, Brotherhood of Shadow and Special Forces, and White Lotus. So let's go through each one, and then I'm going to eeny meeny miny mo pick one of those, which I know which one I'm going for. Actually, yeah, I know which one I'm going for. Raiden himself. <gasps> Guess which one it is. Right, so, Lin Ku, once a secretive warrior clan, the Lin Ku, have been reformed by their new Grand Master Sub-Zero. They now focus their considerable power on Earth Realm's protection. Good, good stuff. Only the most powerful warriors can earn the right to call themselves Lu Kin. Lu Ku. Lin Ku. Lin Ku. Ku? I think it's Ku. Sound like an owl. Ku. Ku. So then we have Black Dragon. A cutthroat criminal organization, the Black Dragon, perpetrates the most violent and brutal crimes imaginable. <gasps> Assassination, kinky, robbery, lovely, and black market weapons, trafficking, double lovely, kinky loveliness all in one, are among their known offenses. All members of the Black Dragon clan are currently wanted by the special forces for crimes against humanity. Could you Adam and Eve it? Seriously. Okay, we have the Brotherhood of Shadow, hailing from the evil nether realm. The Brotherhood of Shadow is a ruthless, secretive organization that has abandoned free will to serve the fallen elder god Shinnok, using dark magic to resurrect fallen warriors their ranks grow with each conflict, and their nefarious goals come closer to realization. Wow, this is this is edge of your seat stuff, people. This is edge of your seat stuff. Then we've got special forces. The special forces is a military group formed to defend the U.S. states, the United States, from their most dangerous enemies. After the Outworld Invasion, they expanded their influences to encompass the entire world. Utilising state-of-the-art technology, they protect Earthrealm from threats beyond our reality. So yeah, that sounds quite good as well, lovely. And then we have White Lotus, a secret order formed by the Thunder God Raiden and the Shaolin, the White Lotus, is populated by the finest martial artists from around the world. Their sole purpose is to hone their skills in preparation for the Mortal Kombat tournament. So there you have all five 
lovely jubbly. For me, personally, I'm going to go with White Lotus. Even though I do love my character Melina to bits, she's, you know, she's my girl. Melina is my, is my baby, you know, but I, I like the White Lotus. The old martial arts wah, 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 type thing, you know. Bruce Lee was my biggest hero as a kid. Posters everywhere of Bruce Lee. So in honour of him and the martial arts and the Thunder Gods and the Shaolin Monks and all this, I'm going to go with the White Lotus. So let's see what we do now. And that's it. We are back to the main menu. So let's have a look what we've got. We've got one player, two player, online, faction, crypt, options, and extras. So one player is your story mode, offline game modes designed for single player, job done, battle it out in standard or modified fights with friends locally, that's fine, online, fight or team up against other players online, Funky Faction. View Faction War status and participate in faction specific game modes. Good, good, good. The Crypt. Oh, the Crypt's back. If anyone knows Mortal Kombat 9, you'll know you had like a little crypt where you could, you can, you can have, you can collect money over time with wins and stuff like that. And you can go and unlock like costumes and chat, like uh, concept art and music and all those things. So that's back. That's cool. Uh, options is your options for all your bits and bobs, your sounds and you sorting out your TV and stuff like that. And extras, explore additional game content, which is probably the stuff that you've unlocked from the crypt. Um, I'm going to be moving on to showing you some gameplay uh, of Melina and some of the other characters. Okay, so yeah, this is all the characters I wanted to show you. I'm not going to go through every single one, but just a brief look at every single one of the characters. It's such an impressive lineup. Look at all these characters to choose from. Look at them. Must be the biggest lineup yet of any Mortal Kombat game. Yeah, I do have the code for Goro. Uh, I tried it, but it wasn't working, so I think he's not officially released yet on the store uh, to buy. Sorry, my code isn't working yet, so hopefully it'll work nearer the time. So this is me playing as Melina, and I just wanted to show you guys a few highlights from some of the matches I had playing against the AI. I'm not ready to go online, no way. I mean, I've just had this game for a few hours, and I'm going to go and practice the hell out of just all the moves, getting them remembered, every single move, into the muscle memory, and then into the explicit memory, which is your body, your body memory, like learning how to ride a bike. You know, you, you can just go out and ride a bike. So it's just it's getting practice and practice and practice and all the moves, all the characters constantly going, 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 remember them. And so it's going to take months, you know, but all weeks or days, however long, you know, but it's still such a fun game of what I've played so far. So I am Ace Plays. Until next time, see you later.
the Forgotten Empress. You will remember me, insect. Every time we pass your grave. Round one, fight! <laughs> You face a Shaolin warrior. Speak your last, warrior. My skills will speak for me. Round one, fight! <laughs> Much fun. Round two, fight. <laughs> Melina wins. <laughs> 